my so 27 meters, forbade me 25f, from going to a wedding to support my lesbian best friend 25f. I am a woman in a long term relationship with my boyfriend and my best friend is a lesbian who recently found out that her girlfriend of 4 years was cheating on her. They have now broken up and my best friend absolutely heartbroken and I have been trying my best to support her through it. My best friend is going to a massive wedding this weekend that her ex will also be attending. My best friend asked me to be her plus one and I obviously said yes. We excitedly went went shopping for dresses, brought matching lipstick and earrings and got our nails done. It was a fantastic day and the first day I have seen her happy in a while. When I got home and told my boyfriend about it he lost his shit. He told me that I was cheating on him and that if I went through with going to this wedding with her I might as well be scissoring her in front of everyone. We argued for hours and hours. Normally he is very understanding but he has been cheated on before so I think he is just hurt. We have been together for two years and just moved in together and and we are mostly a very happy couple. He is now insisted that he comes to the engagement party at least so that he can show off we are together but that's a intimate gather, only like 30 to 40 people, and I can't just invite him to that. He told me that if I go to this wedding with my friend he will break up with me. I don't know what to do. I really want to go to this wedding and support my friend but I don't want to disrespect my relationship. Please help. Edit equals I am from New Zealand. Too long didn't read. My so 27 meters, gave me 25 f, an ultimatum that either I don't go to a wedding to support my lesbian best friend 25 f, who was recently cheated on and broken up with or we break up. I'm not sure what to do. If it were me, I'd be going with my friend to the wedding. He's being an asshole, and has no right to forbid you from anything. All his bluff, if he's stupid enough to go through with breaking up, then you've dodged a mighty bullet. Yes this. Someone who thinks they can forbid you from doing things is not someone you want to be with. He's accusing you of cheating on him with her just because you're going to a wedding with her. That means everything you do with your best friend in the future is going to be thought of as cheating. Are you willing to live like that? Are you willing to give up your friend for him? That's what his ultimatum means. Personally I think it's time to cut him loose. He's never going to be reasonable about this. He's accusing you of cheating on him with her just because you're going to a wedding with her. And ops not even bloody gay. Jeez, the lack of trust and insecurity is making my brain explode. Also, anyone who ever gives you an ultimatum, is a massive asshole, who cares more about being right than about you. You don't want people like that in your life. I'm sorry but he cannot just forbid you from going somewhere just because of his insecurities. You are your own person and you get to make your own decisions. You're simply doing what any friend would do in order to support each other. For him to go out and say that you would be cheating on him is absolutely ridiculous. Go to the wedding with your friend. If he breaks up with you, consider it a good thing. Ever let someone control you or give you mentally slash emotionally abusive ultimatum. You can consider his feelings but ultimately, you have the final say. I wish you the best. LOL forbade. Screw him. You should go to the party with your friend after you dump your boyfriend. How do I, 23F, deal with a creepy guy when he, 20SM, hasn't done anything major yet. Hi everyone, last year this guy approached me while I was studying alone at the uni library. He introduced himself and was asking weird questions. I shrugged it off and tried to be as cold as possible. He approached me again a few weeks later and I tried to be as cold as possible to give him the message. My friends would say that they would just see him staring at me around campus and started to get a bit freaked out. I was tutoring a student at the library one time and he sat next to us and as soon as the student left he started saying my name repeatedly trying to get my attention while I pretended to read. I snapped and yelled at him and told him I didn't want to be friends with him and he got embarrassed and left the library. I then saw he had super liked me on Tinder but I swiped left. I then finished up uni and then started my corporate job this year. Posted in my city's FB group that I was looking for a new flatmate and he liked the post even though we ain't FB friends or anything. I was out with M friends for dinner one time and he was at the cafe too and 
and my friends and I both noticed he wouldn't stop staring. I've recently seen him around my work and I'm getting anxious. I know all of these things minor but it's just the vibe I'm getting from his actions what I'm making me sacred slash anxious or that he is planning on doing something more serious to me. I don't know I feel this is how every horror movie starts. Any advice? TL Doctor in frequent encounters with a creepy guy are making me nervous since he started in my same workplace. Honestly, restraining order. Showing up around your work multiple times is probably not a coincidence. He works at my work now, so it's not just to turn up that the awkward part. These things aren't minor when they're stacked up like this. Document everything, and use this post as a guide for all of the things he's done in the past. Write it all down and keep track of all new sightings, and as another user suggested, apply for a restraining order. I don't have any better advice other than what other people have said, gather evidence and prepare for a restraining order. But I just want to reiterate that you are not overreacting and this is very creepy and way too coincidental to just be a coincidence. It sounds like he's stalking you. First of all block him on social media, set your profiles to friends only and don't accept friend requests if you aren't sure who the person is, that will cut off some of it. As for him around your work, don't acknowledge him or talk to him. If he approaches you, tell him to leave you alone. Let your boss or manager know about this so that they know your concerns and can alert people to watch out for him. If he escalates, you should probably file for a restraining order so you at least have means to have the authorities remove him if he won't leave you alone. My partner's obsession with online shopping has me at my wit's end. My 31F partner 32 meters, has an obsession with online stores and it's hurting our relationship. We've been together for more than a decade and this issue was always there, but now it's just intolerable. He would insist on discussing Christmas presents in March, literally, pretty much daily. He would spend hours browsing online stores and save many literal gigabytes of images on his hard drive. The images would be of pretty much any random product he liked, and didn't even need, like toys, we don't have kids, pans, chairs, pots, sofas, shoes, cutlery, lamps, board games. He would pressure me to accept gifts I didn't need, like he would see a pair of sports shoes and go on a tirade about how I need new shoes for the gym, I haven't been to the gym since March, and would go on like a broken record until I accept. If I don't, he would say mean things. He would insist on being the one to pick gifts for my family and argue with me about it, even though I would obviously know what my own parents would rather get. Again, many long months before the actual occasion, he would show off his online store finds to me. And if I said I'm not interested, he would go I just wanted to show you this and keep going. If I spaced out and stopped listening he would be offended. I don't even like having many things. To me it's materialistic and causes clutter. I am also a very frugal person, who values her health and experiences over trinkets. I also would rather have us save for our own place, and every board game we play just once and every overly expensive gift for grandma moves us further. I have tried talking to him about it many times and it's hopeless. He would promise to tone it down and I would wake up in the night to him scrolling. He would wait for an opening in my boundaries to go back to his usual ways. My therapist seems to have given up, because instead of suggesting new communication strategies she just asks me to picture my life in five years if he doesn't change. To me it looks like addiction but he refused to acknowledge that. Every time I try to address this, he treats me like a critical parent who is just never happy about how he is. I don't know how I can make him stop. He did start therapy recently but it feels like it's just so that I give him a break. We also had a couples therapy at some point but the therapist was clearly running a script and after wasting so much money we stopped going. TL, doctor of all things, my partner seems to be addicted to online stores. Basically, you can't make him stop. You can't make him do anything. All you can do is decide whether you can live with the behavior or not. Is it impacting your bank account? Do you keep all your finances separate? Unfortunately I think he's always been like this. You are starting to see it and be annoyed by it because you are outgrowing his behavior. 
my therapist seems to have given up, because instead of suggesting new communication strategies she just asks me to picture my life in 5 years if he doesn't change. Your therapist is wise. Rather than do the painful thing of setting up boundaries, imposing consequences and letting him throw temper tantrums, you're wringing your hands and trying to wish everything away. He would wait for an opening in my boundaries to go back to his usual ways. You don't have boundaries. Raising objections and then caving immediately in the face of his pouting is not a boundary, that's you trying to convince yourself that you're not being played like a violin. Boundaries, actual boundaries operate more like this, you stop accepting his gifts, period. He gives you unwanted gifts. They go directly to goodwill. He wants to bore you senseless with his shopping tales. Give him 10 minutes then shut it down, okay, good to hear that you're chuffed about your finds, but I've run out of bandwidth for today. Hey, how about local sports ball team? Refuse to engage in gift talk. He will know what you and everybody else wants when Christmas rolls around and they put their lists together. He will pout. He will throw toddler level fits. He will rules lawyer. He will attempt to manipulate you with his infinite sadness. You tell him that you're sorry he feels this way but your decisions here are final. In other words, you ride out the gale of his extinction burst. That is what a boundary looks like, it's the goddamned day MZ. What you're calling a boundary is a quivering tower of flam. Your therapist is right, knowing that he won't change, how long can you continue living like this? Another year? Five? Ten years of lying to yourself that once you find the magic words, Everything will somehow change. Stay in therapy and work on your incredibly dysfunctional need to enable. My therapist seems to have given up, because instead of suggesting new communication strategies she just asks me to picture my life in 5 years if he doesn't change. That seems less like giving up and more like giving you the right advice. You've talked to him about it and he claims he'll change just to get you to stop talking about it, then resumes this addiction that he's happy feeding and is fine with attacking you if you don't encourage and enable it. You can't make him stop. He has to want to stop. Years with him have shown you that he doesn't want to. So now it's on you to decide whether you want a life shared with his shopping addiction or whether you want a life free of him and the addiction both. My ex did this. He blew them 45k in just a couple years. Now he's broke. The little bit of income he gets from a small rental is it, and life isn't much fun at all. I think your therapist is trying to get you to see your future not trying to talk you into any point of view. You need to be the one to realize this man may not be what you truly want. Or maybe he is and you envision lots of knickknacks, some really nice shoes and a guy you love. You're in a relationship with a shopping addict. You can't make him realize this and you can't make him change. Would you approach this the same way if it was an alcohol addiction?